Yo, it's a girl intro. So in case you haven't noticed, I've moved house. Uh, same setup, new location. Although I do feel like this house is kind of haunted, but we'll get to that later. Also, by the way, I actually love gherkins so much. They're like, um, if you don't know what the gherkins yeah, are, so watch my I videos. literally moved in like a couple of days ago and I'm already bringing you videos from this new setup. So today I'm gonna show you how to add decals to objects in Blender give them kind of like a weathered effect. We're gonna make a couple normal maps, add a bit of like shine and like diversifying texture, all of that. In classic intro fashion, I'm just late. I'm just slow. I take my time with things. And I found this amazing plugin not that long ago. And people have probably known about it for ages, but I'm here, I'm ready to show you how amazing and how powerful and how easy to use it is. And before we start, I just wanted to say this video is sponsored by Skillshare, but more about that later. So I'm starting with a really simple blender scene. I've just got a third party 3D model of this PlayStation. Couldn't think of anything else to use. And then I've got like a literally the most basic three point lighting set up here. This is the scene and we're going to add some stickers to the object, going to personalise it. But before we do that, we've got to design some stickers now. What do you, what do you think this is? Who do you think, what do you think we're doing here? So I've got like this basic, I've, got, I've started designing some stickers. Couldn't really think, like again, I've been having like crazy creative block recently. My brain is just not working. This is all I came up with. Make sure that when you're setting up your file, you use 300 DPI and a minimum of 2000 by 2000 pixels. This is if you want to have crisp, high res uh, stickers, because remember that the resolution of your 2D images will also apply in the 3D space. Okay, when you're happy with the stickers, we're gonna remove this black background and this is what we're gonna export. So we're just gonna do file, save as, and I'm gonna change it to save as stickers albedo PNG. And yeah. Cool. Now, one more thing before we close Photoshop. Let's make some roughness maps and also bump maps or bump maps. This is just like a very rudimentary way of doing it. So like I mentioned in the other video, when designing bump maps, roughness maps, all of that, you gotta remember that it's using a scale of zero to one to assign height or roughness or specularity all of that. So take this face mask for instance, like I said last time, if you want these um, heart artifacts to be raised in the render, then we assign them a color of black. The darker the color in the normal map, the more raised it will be when we apply it. And if you wanted the background to be um, mapped, you would assign a value of white so let's make the normal map with that in mind and it will all become clear later on. So the first thing we're going to do is give our normal slash bump map slash roughness map a fill layer of white behind all of our stickers because this is going to give it um, by default a uh, matte finish. Now we're going to take elements on the other stickers that we want to make uh, bolder and like embossed kind of effect and select them and then color those in black. So for instance, right here, I'm gonna make all of this text um, appear to be raised. So holding shift and the magic select tool. This one's fairly simple because it's literally like, you can literally see the stark difference between them. That's selected, I'm gonna use the brush tool, create a new layer and just brush over that with complete black. So this is the current map what it's looking like. All of the black will be raised and shiny. So let's go add some more. There we go. So this is my finished normal map. All of these bits that are black are gonna be raised and shiny and all the bits that are white are just gonna stay default. Or, sorry, not default, rather uh, matte and save that as sticker oh, um, map. and we're kind of going to use the same map for everything because we are lazy repeat it after me we are lazy okay so now back into blender we've got our stickers we got our maps let's put it all together 
there's a link in the description to this Gumroad page where you can find the plugin. And right here, you can either download it for free by typing in zero or put a quantity of your choice to support the creator of this amazing plugin. Download the plugin, you'll get a zip folder and don't un unzip it, extract it, just leave it as it is. Go to edit, preferences, add on, and then we're going to install that add on right here and you click that and then click install add on, boom, and it works. To bring the decals into the scene, click the object that you want the decals to be applied to. So select it, shift A, image, image is decal. We're going to bring in our albedo map and now you can see it's huge so we're going to scale it down a little bit. Now we're going to spin this round just so that we can see what's going on. Minus 90. Cool. I'm going to click here. And I might just go into material preview. So you'll notice as soon as the object gets close to the target object, it will start to fuse onto it. But we're going to lift it up, make sure it is not touching the object at all. And we're going to do a couple loop cuts. So in edit mode, hit control, uh, sorry, shift R, sorry, control R. And I'm going to separate this intro one here. Oh, that is close. That is so close. Like that. Nice. And then I'm gonna separate this one here, the Intel. Then I'm gonna separate the skateboard and so now hit face select i'm gonna make hit p on each of the stickers so select these two this makes the objects individual objects this is how you can bring in loads of stickers at once if one if you want you can export from photoshop one image at a time but this way you is a quicker way of getting a bunch of stickers all at once. And now all the items move on their own. If I did bring one of these stickers down, it would start fusing to the object. Nice. I think I'm gonna put the intra first. So just start dragging it close to your object and you'll see it starts to fuse on. And all you have to do is kind of like turn it a little bit and it will immediately become really flush with the surface of your object. And so you can hit use G, make sure it's above. And I can just use the letter G to move my decal wherever I want, R to rotate it. So let's just do a little something like that. Now, if we want to add stickers to a different part of the model, so for instance, this bit, so far I haven't figured out a way to transfer the decal onto that bit directly. You just have to do the exact same process all over again. Cool, so now I've placed the stickers exactly where I want them. Let's go back to that roughness map that we created earlier. So just go into shader editor here. So duplicate this node that is auto generated by decal. Shift D to duplicate, open a new file. We're gonna use this bump map here. Change sRGB into non-color and connect this color node to the roughness node. And you can see, especially if you look over here, when you make that change, now it makes all the elements, remember the places that we made blank here, it would make all those elements glossy in the design. So remember we made the horse glossy and the text glossy over there. Um, the intro should be glossy, although the lighting that I've got right here makes it difficult to see, but you can see on the Palafel that the only glossy parts are the bits that we made black, if you remember that. So now we're going to use our roughness map also as a bump map. It's a little bit junky, but we're still going to do it. Um, so double click this bit here to open up the procedural shader, basically the plugin. And we're going to add a node here, shift A, another image node, image texture. And then we're going to add bump right here plug color into height change this to our bump map and make sure it's um on non-color and 
plug in normal into normal and now I can see if we invert it as well and now you can see if we up this to like 15 now you can see that our stickers have some heights to them actually probably not invert it there we go stickers are kind of like that embossed kind of effect and they're also shiny in places right so now i think we should start playing around with the plugin and making the let the stickers a little bit worn a little bit organic looking before we do that just a word from the sponsors of today's video Skillshare is an online learning community which supports people who identify as self-taught baddies in picking up niche interests in their spare time. Classes are taught by industry professionals and hobbyists alike who are passionate about their craft. From NFTs to carpentry, there are a myriad of skills that you can pick up and learn today. I personally have been getting into my crypto bag as one might say. <laughs> I've been investing my time, as you would say, into this class by Zach Hartley, called Trade and Invest in Cryptocurrency and Bitcoin. I'm still making my way through this class, as you can see, it's quite a hefty one, but it's been pivotal in helping me grasp these complicated concepts. So if you like the sound of this, then the first thousand people to click the link in my description will receive one free month of Skillshare to try for themselves. This message was approved by Intranet Corp. Oh. Anyway, where were we? This plugin is so cool because we can add weathering and surface imperfections right within the nodes that they give us. So to go back to the old screen, what I've just found is just clicking an object and then the other object again brings you back to it. I haven't found a better way to do that yet. If someone could tell me, remind me, because I remember there's a way and I can't remember what it was. So if we bring up worn amount, we can see now that the stickers start to disintegrate, but I honestly don't want too much weathering. If we did bring up the weathering amount quite high, you can adjust the edge, kind of how um, feathered the edge is. There's just so many parameters here to wrap your head around and play with. How's this looking? So many decals, it looks sick. Oh, another thing you wanna do is make sure that you pair your stickers to your objects. So I'm just going to select these stickers and the last thing you select is the object they're getting paired to which is this base control p set parent to object and now if you rotate the object the stickers follow along with so i don't think i really want to do too much more to this video i just wanted to show you how you can quickly get decals into um onto a 3d model and there's so many applications of this you can probably do it to a human mesh um, you can do it to probably any mesh and how quickly and easily you can do it with this amazing plugin. Shout out to Aman Deep. He is a wizard for putting this together. It is so, so helpful. And if you can contribute something to the creation of more tools that help enhance your Blender workflow, I hope this was helpful. Yeah, just a little quick tutorial today nothing too too crazy and i literally forgot to announce the winner of the giveaway so let's see who the winner is quite a few oh hey, that is so cute so big up that works vic Ver, ver, verks vix i really love the style you're speaking and joking in your videos it's giving a lot of personality to your tutorials and making it very friendly for beginners gherkin i appreciate that so much because i always worry that i'm not this hyper curated super professional person but i feel like if i presented myself that way it wouldn't be speaking truthfully to the person i truly am so i appreciate this comment so much and i'll be contacting you somehow to send you to send you this beautiful specimen big thank you to everyone that took part in the giveaway i feel like i've taught half of america what gherkins are now so mm. anyway thank you for watching this video i hope it was helpful 
I'm gonna be making more tutorials because I've graduated from uni. And that's it for today. Oh, I'm already sweating. They make me sweat. I'll see you guys soon, very soon. Take care, everyone. Bye bye. Mmm.